Hello, I am John Gallo. Welcome to my DVD. You are about to uh, learn how to do my uh, Osaka Bill Banknote production. And I will teach you all the final points. So in no time at all, you will be able to perform this effect of the first banknote. Now comes the middle of a trick where you keep producing banknotes. Four, and now for the finale. Two handfuls of banknotes from nowhere. The Osaka Let's fly bill. away to London. And then I come on the stage and I said, ladies and gentlemen, tonight I run out of magic. I have just one trick. Trick with a bank. It's a small trick, but it's quite good. I will take this banknote and wow. Wait a minute, I got two. Uh, well, I'm sure this trick will work just with two as it does with one. Mm. This is actually the trick. For the first time in the history of magic, I'm going to do the one banknote trick, not with one banknote, not with two. I will try to do it with three. And that is. Well, <laughs> I got four banknotes. This is really a problem. I just need one. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I have to calculate. One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what? I got four banknotes too many. <laughs> <laughs> I will show you how to prepare the banknotes. And we are going to use a piece of paper, a little bit bigger than a banknote, to make it easy to see what is going on. Okay. Yesterday, I was lucky. I got one of these as well. I'm not sure this will have... Oops! And here you have two banknotes, three, four. <laughs> and you can do this to show your hand empty. One two, three, four, and then you can keep going with the production. How is this possible? Very simple. All you do is you... Uh, it also works in different ways, which I will show you now. A very good thing with this trick is that you can use any banknotes that don't have to be the same size and change and you will always lose money every time you change your dollars but of course being a magician you just produce a banknote from Europe 20 is not much it's maybe better with a bigger one of 50 and uh, for instance when you come to Sweden you need a Swedish banknote and that is the same, 100 is good, but 500 is much better. And then, of course, when you come back to um, America, it's the good old dollars you will need.